As the framing is near completion, the plumbing and electrical work begin on the home. The lower level is covered in P-Rock, and the tile system and sump system are installed in the ground. The sanitary sewer system is connected. Water and power lines are also brought to the home. The basement floor is poured. Upper level plumbing, furnace venting, and electrical is passed through the floor and into the truss system with the utility room becoming home to the furnace, air exchanger, future water heater, water softener, and low voltage wiring. Oil wrap sheathing is secured to the concrete walls and is an insulation barrier. The shower stall is secured into position. Framing is finished and the electrician adds switch boxes, can lights, and fixture support boxes. Spray foam is added to the rim joist and vapor barrier and fiberglass installation is added between the studs. Vapor barrier is then added where necessary over the insulation. At the same time, the upper level is undergoing a similar process. Plumbing for drains and showers and toilets is added with the shower stall being added and secured into position. Electrical wires are fed into switch boxes and fixture support boxes. The can lights are mounted into position. Venting for the furnace and exhaust fans are connected to the outside. Vapor barrier and insulation is added between the room studs. The exterior walls of the entire home, including the ceiling, is covered in plastic vapor barrier. Tape is added to the seams and around features such as drains to minimize drafts and ensure efficiency. The garage floor is poured. Interested in a new Sherco home? Feel free to contact us to begin the process.